stop. We're going to the baseball stadium. Yeah, we're going to this spot. We're over to the baseball field right now. We delivered, what do we deliver? We're just delivering all the clothes here at the church, at the Catholic church in the right. middle of Plaza. Clothing and yeah, wheelchairs shoes, and wheelchairs. anything they need. Crutches, so now we're gonna go ahead and take it over to the baseball field where they have a setup where we're gonna deliver the food straight to the houses, hopefully. So we'll see how it goes. All right, Joe.
What's the situation, bro? Well, we came here to deliver the goods. Unfortunately, um, the rain hasn't stopped probably for an hour straight. Um, the emergency crew that was gonna help us get deep into the town to go take the donations and the food and everything. Had to, we had to empty the truck as fast as possible. I don't know if you guys had a chance to see that, but we had to empty the trucks quickly because there was a child that um, is having medical difficulties. And we weren't able to, to get him there. Okay, so they, they had to get everything out. Actually, take a look at this right here. Um, they're opening up the... Holy shit. Sorry for the language, but this is crazy. This was all flooded, so we had to come down here, open this up for the water to go down. So, you know, the, the thing about the people from the country here in Puerto Rico is that, uh, unlike some people are saying, uh, they're not gonna wait, they get it done. They don't need people to get it done, but they need help, but they're not gonna sit here and die waiting for the help that never comes. They're gonna find a solution and they're gonna save each other. Um, right now we're on our way to, to go um, see some family members of some of the people that are here with us traveling um, to make sure they're okay, let them know that we're okay, and we're gonna try to see if we can find a way back. However, you can see here to the right, the mountain just, they fall on the, we're in the middle of the countryside where it, if you wanna see what's happening here, this is where you need to come. And, and it's just, this is total devastation. I'm seeing this and I can't believe it. I'm in awe to know that a kid that uh, needed a uh, medical electric support for his breathing uh, I don't even know how to call it right now. I apologize for that, but he's his uh, power plant, his generator blew up yeah. because of the rain and everything going on. So the the emergency crew is running up there. We have families here trying to clean up as much water as they can, okay. trying to move it out the way. You see, all this is going to get in their houses. Power lines. Power lines are down. Look at the mountain, and this is from the rain coming down. Oh. Okay. Right here, we don't have the right, best. Now, now we're in the trouble area right now. Yeah. We don't have the best car to come up here. I rented I rented the wrong car, guys. I, I was not expecting this. I'm in a Hyundai Accent. I should have definitely got the Jeep. Yes, so uh, pushing on. I was not expecting any of this, and it, it caught us all by surprise. And the stories that we're hearing here, are they're breaking our heart. And it's true. for people to think that this is nothing major, it's, it's unfortunate. The fact that they're saying 16 deaths, and there's probably hundreds and hundreds of people that are dead from everything that we've talked to. That's definitely a month's like. So, look at this. Oh, yeah. And you can see, if you take a look across the street, that shows you that it just went all the way into the house. And they just cleared it. And they cleared it so we could drive through here. But this could happen at any moment right now. No, no, please. Not right now. <laughs> no, not right now. <laughs> We don't want it to happen. No, we don't no. want it to happen. The, the nature of it is you see people trying to clean up as much as they can is... It's, it's a possibility. Uh, people are outside right now and it's raining non-stop. We were sitting here waiting, hope, hoping it would stop raining so we could go up the mountain and deliver the, the food. Because there's people that haven't had any water or food delivered for two weeks. So, this is wild. This, this is mine. For you to say that this is not a catastrophe and people are losing their homes, it's just, it's sad. It's, it's unbelievable. It just, it just makes people question what kind of person you are, whoever it is. And what, you know. Wow. It's tough. But we're not expecting And here is the car that is in the top of the, ha the house. Or the Show the car. Yeah, there's a car. It's right there. See the house? Oh, yeah. slow down. The car. Shit. oh shit. Sorry for the language. And you, behind all this mudslide right here, you'll see a car. Este mensaje es para Roberto Almeida. Usted me dijo que me asegurara de que Lisandra no saliera viva de aquí, mira. Ya la estoy. Ya, <laughs> yeah, Tokyo 2020, Andrés. Uh, 
It's looking very, very questionable right now if we're gonna make it out of here. We're trying to survive with chips. <laughs> we don't got food, we don't got food. Come on, Andrew. Diablo, por aquí es? Sí. Holy fuck. Acuérdate que tienes que pegarte la derecha. Ya, ya está la izquierda, porque la derecha no hay calle. Avanza y. Mira ahí. Oh my god. No quiero mirar. Oh my god. No quiero mirar allá. Tenemos que ver. Mira otro, mira otro. Carlos, tranquilo. No, 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 no,